Another week, another episode of Cunny Archive, where I question why you guys are all just fucking crying in chat, going, Whoa! Cunny! Cunny! Crying emoji! One of these days, I'll understand. Let's begin today's reaction. What? 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 No way! The Katakata Helmet game? We are funding our own enemies. They come for the debt, we give them money, they give them money to the Helmet Gang and the other Problem Solver 16 and everyone else, and they come at us. What the fuck is this? Nani? We're not friends. The exact payment! What is this girl fucking stupid or something? No, why am I being so mean to her? I'm I she just exists here to just be questioning so that the audience that's kind of slow can understand what's going on. I'm so mean to her for no fucking reason. Yep. <laughs> yep. And like their school, the uh, Trinity, they're like the richest of them all, right? For some reason, they're fucking loaded. Can they help us out? Can they help, can, can, can they give us an interest-free loan? And the other? I thought 68 was also kind of getting funded too. And then how does that work? So like, so we owe them money. They fund other terrorist groups to attack our school. To do what? Take over the school. Because at the end of the day, there, there has to be something at the school. They want. Is it just the school? Is it the land that they want? They want to completely just like seize the assets and then force us to pay more, you know, uh, loan payments somewhere else. Because it seems like... It seems a little counterproductive to like, all right, you already have these girls at the palm of your hands. They've got to fucking make these payments, but then you're going to just like make it even harder. I don't know. Let's rob another bank, Serika. <sighs> exactly, right? Like, how does that make sense? If they're trying to take us over, but we're trying to pay. If anything, they should be fine with just like keeping us in life support and just like leeching the money off. There's something to school. What, what does it mean to take over the school? The girls get kicked out and the school gets added to some other people's like ownership? This ownership over the school is that important at the end of the day? Well, then again, other schools like Gehenna, Trinity, Millennium, and us, Abito is like, well, I don't know if our school is called Abitos, but it's like maybe the school itself is like important. It's like this faction they can like just like take up. At the end of the day, it's for the sake of more money or more power. This helps them get more money or power. There's a conspiracy? So, she can't be corrected, right? Because, like, she is too nice. So, like, she can never be corrected. Only bratty lollies can be corrected. Is this correct? I'm not completely sure how that works. Tea party? The rich girl Ojo Sama tea parties? Okay. Must be like an important meeting. Okay. Hyping up Trinity? That's the second time now. Oji san has given me sus faces. Here, this is the second time. And before we left, when Serika was talking about how, you know, you know, someone else was talking about how if other schools are involved, like this moment too. So, not very subtle. Even like the first couple episodes when Serika was being sus, right? And then we had a whole thing about her. So, Oji san knows something about why Kaiser Loans is trying to fucking fund other groups to take us down, even though it's, you know, it's like we're trying to pay them back. Like, what does Oji san know? 
It's a lot! Wait, what do you mean 960? It's basically 1000! They know. This isn't news. Everyone kind of already knows about our circumstance, the highest branch, and decide to kind of turn a blind eye to Kaiser loans. There's a big conspiracy here. Are we poor in order to make up the power structure of the top school so they can exist in harmony while we get sacrificed? Is it that kind of deal? Or is it the fact that they do know and they just can't do anything about it because Kaiser just has that much power over everybody? I don't know. On purpose. Oji-san, tell me more about your wise wisdom. Yeah. That they could take us over anytime? No, I think Oji-san is right. Would they? Would the girls be that nice? I don't know. I, I, I don't know how, like what the top you know executive at each school has with Kaiser loans. It seems like we're just like kind of just putting this shitty situation. And as long as we suffer, everyone gets along fine. And if they heard about the situation, I don't know. Would they be nice enough to help us? Here's another random scam. Uh, I think... Wouldn't it be interesting if, like, Gehenna, who is just known as to be, like, underworld, dark, evil, edgy characters, that they're actually the nice people? And then Trinity, that's supposed to be, like, angelic, heavenly, nice, is actually the evil people? Random tangent. Random tangent. But I, I think that would be a cool... <laughs> Sensei, what's the solution? Ask your fucking iPad. Oji-san's look today. Oji-san! What's the worst case scenario? It's because we ignored the worst case scenario that Abido's what? Abido, don't you dare off screen this. <laughs> Bitch, finish your sentence! <laughs> don't you just got me like, hmm. In the worst case scenario that Abido's. <laughs> I never even realized that she had a tail. That's a tail. Right? I... This is new to me. I should have been paying attention. I never realized that there was a tail here. What the fuck? She ain't listening. Yeah, you guys got a fucking bag of money you picked up, right? This is so fucked. We stole that money. We left it on the ground, and now they're using the money that we stole to fuck us up. It's all rigged. The system's fucking rigged. Boy, she's not gonna use it. Maybe she's gonna be ethical about the stolen money. Sure. We of the cool outlaws, I gotta be just like the mass swimsuit gang. Howdy boy, you do. Since when? This last episode. The team? So, Problem Solver 60s crew, they are originally from Gehenna. But they see, the Prefect team sees them as a thorn on their side. They're kind of like the problem children. They're kind of just like defect of Gehenna. I want to see. The crown! That halo! I think that was wider before. Maybe the, the, uh, the size of the crown like changes. That girl though, she was on top of the stairway. That's the one I was like, yo, that's got to be the coolest fucking halo design that I've seen. They're the most feared organization, really. Okay. Hina? Crown. That's her, right? That Hina? Hina is the... I can't tell. Is Hina the one I'm talking about with the crown? Is, is that her? That hair, does that match that? I don't think so. Hina is basically hard carry. So maybe like the quirk of the prefect team is like Hina is OP as fuck. And obviously as she says, everyone else is useless and that's gonna be like the running gag. Okay. 
ハードボイドそれが便利は68のビジョンだっけいや、そんなことないそのとおりお帰りはるかお疲れ様あるさまいつでも言ってください私がこの手で How are you gonna blow up the world with your hands, girl? That makes no fucking sense. But it's very cute how she blushes and gl glazes, you know, Aru, because these other two girls, they just kind of shit on Aru, bro. <laughs> Cringe. And then there's, you know, Haruka. Always so supportive, Aru. That girl, she always shits on Aru, bro. The amount of teasing she does. Hi. What was that interaction? Haruka basically was glazing up Aru and was kind of sad that, you know, she left on the 1v1 thing. I don't know. Something about this is like, what's going on? I think it's just because she's just leaving so early. The one on the right absolutely needs a correction, right? Right? This one on the, on the right, she gotta get corrected. She is like peak correction target, right? But the girl from Trinity, the really nice girl, like nice girls don't need to be corrected. But bratty girls need to? Is that the idea? Funny and cute, guys. What's up? This is... Nonomi's thighs is Oji-san's territory. It's her domain. That's it, mine! She knows more about the plot than anyone else, it seems. I need to know what's going on. What? What do you mean? What happened? Probably the depths of the Kaiser loans and everything, and people leaving us. The last two presidents. It almost like her mentor, yeah? And this is totally different from the general student council president, right? Because the general student council is an, uh, an organization that kind of governs the, all of the schools in Kibito's. This student council president is specific to Avidos, right? Okay, the independence comes from that, being so young. So basically, she used to be super, like, independent and cool. Oji-san was acting Oji-san before you even showed up with the fucking OP iPad. Is he capping? Did Sensei change Oji-san? I... I feel like Oji-san's personality has been the same before and after Sensei showed up. Maybe I'm missing something. What the fuck did you do so far, bro? No answer. Okay. Yeah. Cap! Cap! No, I haven't seen Sensei do shit. Everyone gets their own poll? Do you think that they dipped into the bag money? You know? How Aru said, we can't test that bag. We need to be hard to boil. Oh. Everyone got their own. I don't want to fucking dunk her fucking face. That's bratty little bitch in the fucking ramen bowl. And go, you want to be corrected? You want to be corrected? fucking fucking waterboard her like ramen board her, bro. Mm. <laughs> Is this all on the house? Is it all for free? Haruka just, just food. But then again, this is like life changing. <laughs> Haruka Loki hilarious. Haruka is actually really good. It's all free? These girls are literally here to eat up, to get fueled up, so they can start attacking Sedi. <laughs> but look at the guilt, right? Look at the guilt that's gonna build up. Thanks to, you know, Mr. Shiba Inu here, maybe the guilt will build up and they won't be able to, you know, do their job. Hard boiled! Masked swimsuit gang! Damn, the business is running that bad. And they still offer it. We're not a friend? 
<laughs> it's the guild, right? I mean, yeah, the, the shot. Every time you fucking come near and get helped out by your enemies, of course it's gonna make you feel like shit. <laughs> okay, great. Great. <laughs> oh, okay. She basically means like, I need to eat at a really cool place. This is too homey and cozy. Go to a fucking bar then. It's the aesthetics. Do you get it? Chill! And this fucking zealot. This fucking religious nutshell. Whatever you see, Arusama, I will blow up this ramen shop with my hands, whatever that means. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you wouldn't! No! What a bar said it because you don't fucking ramen shop! You're insane! Haruka needs to get fucking corrected. Mm, I, I I thought that she was fucking nah. She needs to get corrected, bro. Not her fucking shop. This is a massive L for Haruka. What the fuck? We feed them for free, not once but twice. It's <laughs> It all started because of Aru's fucking random chuny speech. And then Haruka's also fucking insane, so she just doubles down on it. What about the boss? Is the boss okay? One little Ojisan's doing right now. Can't believe she blew up the fucking shop with us in it. What's going on? Haruka? She's fucking suicide bomb. What does she do? <laughs> you know what expected her to just bomb it? <laughs> Unwelcome school remix. There she is. <laughs> you crazy bitch! <laughs> I have a soft spot for Kudere's like Haruka. I think Haruka is a Kudere. Maybe not. I don't know. I I, I kind of like her demeanor, but like, what the fuck was that? That was a huge L. I don't need to correct Haruka right now. She was about to just let go of a grenade in front of everybody, too. What, what, what? What's going on? Yeah, you're hard-boiled villains here. You're fucking terrorists right now. Did she? I thought she wanted to become an outlaw. An outlaw and a villain's not really the same. You are pure evil, Aru. How could you do this? Aru also needs to get corrected, dude. Everybody needs to get fucking corrected. I swear to God, your model changes every episode. No longer part-timer, she lost her job! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Punish? They should say correct here. <laughs> then we'll correct you for it. I'll go blow them up. Are you sure? Just say sorry! And say that Haruka's a crazy bitch, she is! Alright, she's got a fucking triple down. <laughs> You're the cat. The <laughs> cat got you. What has she? Oh, Serika gonna be mad, mad. Is Big Boss okay? Okay, Big Boss is good. Dude, the shop is blown up. I feel so bad for Big Boss. Big Boss was already doing so bad. His business was going down because there's the, the area that he's doing is so bad. But he decided to stick it out, trying to help the regulars. Give Serika a fucking job. Gave the fucking Promise Over 16 very fucking free ramen multiple times. And he still has to fucking suffer. The world is not fair. There is no fucking justice. <laughs> Serika better go all out, bro. Good. End them, Serika. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? Different faction. Um, 
maybe Hina, uh, fucking Gehenna, uh, Prefect Team, or maybe Millennium Tea Party? Gehenna. <laughs> Otto's dead. I don't feel bad for you fuckers. I, listen. <laughs> Fuck you. I, good. <laughs> See, this is how fucking Shiba Mr. Shiba feels, bro. How does this fucking feel? You didn't even have a... Actually, we should bomb their fucking office too. I don't know who's attacking us. <laughs> okay, this is just another fucking reskin of the... You, you know how I say, if they're like an NPC girl, like the Masked Helmet Gang, or the other, you know, fucking mob gangs, right? The mercenaries, they always have like, they can't see the eyes. It's always kind of covered. It's like the basically copy paste, like a white halo. This is OG's son, is it? No, 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 no. It's a hair. OG's son, stay off. This is what OG's son does. This is OG's son? No, this is not OG's son. No, the separate girls, separate girls, separate girls, separate girls. They're cops? This is what's this is the sound of correction. She's pretty sick. I wanna see Hina though. And that is another episode of Cunny Archive. And today's episode was actually pretty fucked up, bro! Plot-wise? Okay, the fucked up thing, like like what the fuck? Mr. Shiva! Literally extending a helping help helping hand when he didn't even need to trying to see the best in these shitty kids And these shitty kids fucking bombed them because Haruka is a fucking crazy nut job and misunderstood what Aru was saying Aru was like damn, I can't eat in this fucking cozy comfortable ramen place. I'm trying to be a hard boiled uh, Outlaw and then Haruka's like, I'll blow this place up for you Aru-sama Now Shima doesn't have a fucking business. I hope he's got fucking good insurance, man. This is Fucked up. They deserve everything that's coming for him, man. But other than that, the plot stuff this episode. So basically, Kaiser loans using our own money. The debt that we're paying goes into funding other mercenary groups to take us down. Which doesn't really make sense because... How does it make sense that you're trying to take over a school that's just trying to get you money? Unless... You know, taking seeds of the asset like that forcibly is much more profitable in the end. And it must be. Everything has to do with money and power. So what about the school is so valuable that, you know, that Kaiser Loans wants? We're just here because, you know, this is our home. But beyond that, I wonder what's really going on there. Some important stuff. And Oji-san, right? Oji-san seems to know some shit. Oji-san was being very sus talking about Abidos' is like worst case scenario. And today's, you know, it's her day off. And apparently she used to be super independent. You know, when she was in first grade, the previous student council president kind of left her and just decided to run her, you know, her own, own stuff. And she's changed a lot ever since then. But Oji-san, there's a lot of past stuff that we don't really know about that kind of relates to the overall plot. The other stuff was just random fucking bullshit with fucking Problem Solver 68. I, I liked them before, but today's episode, I hope they get fucking decimated. I hope that their fucking company goes down under. Serika has all the right to fucking destroy them. But who shows up? Some kind of cop force, some military force. And apparently, this is Gehenna Prefect Team. Meaning this Gehenna has... Like, like I, I thought that this could be just, like, random, like, cop girls that's, like, uh, responsible for running the city. But I don't know. They just look like fucking stormtroopers. Like, Gehenna just has an army of these cop girls. I don't know. But their design's pretty sick. But I'm still looking for Hina, the one with the crown. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.